Steve Kornacki, nation turns its lonely eyes to you. Are there any more numbers out of the state? There are some more numbers, and I want to explain to folks it's very complicated and tricky what is and I think significantly what isn't happening here with these numbers. So let me show you. These are the official final numbers. These are all zeros right now. When you get to who won the state, how many national convention delegates, this is the formula that it sort of produces those numbers. This is calculated by the state party. This is released by the state party. This is at zero because the state Democratic Party at this point, 515 on the East Coast, still has not reported out results from any precincts. I can tell you at this point in 2016, the state Democratic Party had reported out two-thirds of the precincts, two-thirds of the results. So they are significantly behind that. Again, doing it differently this time with what's ultimately going to be released, supposedly, but zero from the state party. Now, what we do have are spotters, spotters from news organizations that are, have been at these voting locations across the state writing down. You've seen from our reporters these results get announced. They've been writing them down at some locations across the state. What they've been able to record is not this official final number. They've been able to record that first preference. So that's what this is. I'll show you that right now. This is where we have 4% or so covered with the first preference. They've been able to record that and they've been able to record the reallocated preference at these locations, you know, when the candidates don't make the viability threshold. So let me put in perspective what we, without anything from the state party, are and aren't capable of doing here. This is the missing vote. You see, the bulk of it's going to come out of the Las Vegas area. The bulk of it's going to come out of Washoe. Not much else. Not a lot of population in the rest of the state. So you see 84 precincts right now. We've had spotters at 84 precincts of the nearly 2,100 that are out there in Nevada, we've had spotters who are able to give us results. Now, hopefully, if all goes right with our spotters, we'll be able to get you about 300. So about 300 of 2,100, we can cover the first and second preference, about one out of seven precincts across the state. That is obviously limited. We are at the mercy of the state Democratic Party of Nevada for more than that. So we can give you what we've gotten, 88 of these 2,100. We saw just a little bit got added right there. You're seeing from those, you see Sanders here on the first preference, basically a two-to-one advantage over Biden. You got Buttigieg, you got Warren, Klobuchar, Steyer back here. I think the interesting thing here is what happens with these candidates, Klobuchar and Steyer in particular, who are getting some support but falling short of that 15 percent threshold. Watch what happens on the reallocation because we have the numbers for those. And you see Klobuchar drops down to seven. Steyer drops down to four. You even see Warren there at 13. And look what happens where that vote goes up at the top Suddenly, Bernie Sanders goes from 33, all, I was going to say 40, we got a little bit more in there, now to 39%. So Sanders, <coughs> remember, we weren't necessarily seeing this in Iowa. In Iowa, Sanders was leading on the first preference and leading on the reallocation, but by a much smaller margin. We're actually seeing Sanders expand his margin as those voters, Klobuchar, a lot from Steyer there, perhaps some from Warren, reallocate on the second preference. So that's what we got for you, 88 precincts around the state where we can show you the first preference. I'm just seeing if anything was added there. We can show you the first preference. We can show you the second preference. Most of these precincts that we're able to report to you, they are from Washoe and Clark County. That's where most of the vote's going to come from. Wow. On behalf of all the viewers watching this coverage, you're allowed to look at it and wonder who won and why it isn't simpler to answer that question. Our thanks to Steve for wading through what we have, some of it, observation from our old folks, uh, our own folks. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.